Welcome to another episode of Yawa of the Day. Yes, the Yawa man is back today. We are doing back to back, back to back, 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 back to back. Okay, let me do the intro. Welcome to today's episode of Yaw of the Day. My name is Kuji Shaudi Niki Luke Duku Eke Luke Durag Eke Eko Trippin Eke Yaw Trippin Eke My Boston Analytics Eke Bass My Nigga Bass Eke Cytoplasm Nucleus Alacritis Dogmatism Pragmatism Ha! Muni Muni Dai Momo Now! This story is sad, you understand? Because Sawa Wo Ba Pa Na Wa Shen Oma Ne Jenny Du If You Ate Tine Kama 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 no, I'm boarding house. Oh, me back up right now. Feel you. I'm cold school. I'm back feel you. Now feel what skeleton. You could crawl out here. It is very, 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 very sad. Now this video has been trending on various social media pages and on social media platforms. Why did I say because of the content and the woman um, was really, really sad about the whole incident or what has happened to the son. Now this woman taking son go school. The school be deeper life uh, school. Why did I say? Oh, me the me be a co boarding house. No be banana we nyanti tia pani adi adi afi the woman ne koya ne banana dan skeleton. Bro, it don't be small. And 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 Charlie, Charlie, it be sad. It be very, 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 very sad. The way they, that's the woman they narrate the incident. They nearly cried, and it happens. This boarding house school thing, Charlie, you go take your picking go. Anything they say, hustle and get money. So, so you go fit take your kid go, go the AIS and the ISS and proper. Now some go for this school there. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mention anybody in school, but yeah. The abuses that we 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 go uh, Charlie, they will beat you. Uh, just say, what me? What, the, <laughs> then we see the way we have normalized these things in the boarding houses and the, in the senior high schools and all those things. And Charlie, it be stressful. We have normalized it. We feel like yeah, once it happens, they Charlie, you for go through it and things. But Charlie, the psychological implications they have on some people, and eh, it be very 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 some way. You make we listen to the woman in story. If I want to look at him. He will turn his face. If I want to look at him, he will turn his face. If I want to look at him, he will turn his face. In that dream, I rushed to the school. They told me that all protocols, the protocol does not allow me to see. I said I had a terrible dream. And it's his first time coming to Deeper Life High School, Idoro Road. I want to see him. I had a terrible dream. They refused. After much, they brought him out. He wasn't looking this worst. I ask, why is he looking like this? I noticed that the boy was living in fear because he's a boy that talks everything. He talks too much. Please, whoever is watching this video should help me share it until he gets to the right appropriate authorities. It's not easy to muzzle one out uh, together after COVID and send the child to school only for the child to return as a skeleton. Look at all his bones. Look at all his bones. This is a chubby striker. I will show his picture when he left for school. As he came back now, I will show his picture. He has been throwing up greenish things. I have videoed him. I will send his picture, Nigerians, please come to my aid. I never knew Deeper Life was strictly for Deeper Life member. I am not a member, but I paid my dues for my child to, try, try to go to their school. So that day I went after the dream, and I discovered, and I was told that, um, I told them that I would like to have um, to talk to my son one on one. That I wouldn't want to leave this thing this way. I would like to talk to him one on one. I took my son into the car. He was afraid. I said, "Talk to me." He said, "If he talk to me, that they will kill him." I said, "In the school environment, who will kill you? Talk to me. I am your mother." Here is the boy. The first day he went to school. Here is the boy, the first day he went to Deeper Life High School. Here is the boy, the first day he entered school. Here is him, and here is him now. I want the whole world to see my son, the first day he went to Deeper Life High School. I'm not saying that school shouldn't make you lose weight, but not to this extent. Look at him right now. Here is my son, as I speak now, he's running. Challenge sad! Sad, bro! And you see the way the, the kid they sit there like mo mo mo. What? Why, bro? Why? Why you gotta do this, bro? And you see, one 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 person came to break down the story for here. Charlie, you go bust your mind. You say this eleven year old boy was JS, JSH one student of Deeper Life High School. His woes began when it was discovered that he he wet bed at night. 
The innocent boy was starved by teachers as punishment for bedwetting. Who they starve students with the bedwet? I don't understand how the starving go, go help quench the, the bedwetting. I don't understand. Now let me continue. Um, the school principal took the punishment a step further by moving him. So, yes, then they move on from where he did, he did, he did, he did, uh, he bed, you know, from the JS, JS, JS1 hostel to the SS2 hostel. So you see the Jimmy, they, instead of the principal or whatever, the headmaster, whatever, go, go have sense, they say, nah, this issue where we for handle them with, with caution and with care. No, no, your man escalate the issue by moving the guy from the JSH1, uh, or JS1, uh, hostel to, the seniors them are there and that's where the whole bullying thing happened started now anyone who has a, who has a, who has half brain knows that sending a junior student to live in a senior in the seniors hostel is like sending a lamb into a lion's den in the ss2 hostel this poor boy was severely molested and raped by his seniors they made him take off his underwear and they went ahead to insert their fingers toes fists and whatsoever please them into his anus Eey. Nah, this this, uh, this one there. Nah, this is this is scary. This child was brutally sodomized by his seniors within the walls of a boarding school run by a popular Nigerian church. Those devilish seniors threatened to kill him if he ever told anybody. Even the teachers who starved him for bedwetting also threatened to make his life miserable for him for if, for him if he ever told his parents that he was starved. When the wise man came to the school to take him, they were reluctant to release him to her. This is okay. So the guy shared the. Uh, the the post from the guy uh the kid in you know, in facebook page and things what they are saying and yes the so the principal to that someone came to add that the principal denied all in appearance in the parents forum group chat and kicked the boy's mother out of the whatsapp group chat yes so the principal denied everything that has happened and uh the eventually you know, Charlie, she, she covered the mommy from the group like fraco fraco look at this this Imagine say you take your Peking go school and look at what these atrocities they happen to him. Just because of you see, it be sad, bro. This story just be sad. Right now, you know the trauma, the psychological trauma where this kid go go through. You check, look at all the kid you look at the things that he has gone through at this age. Starving, raping, sodom so so, so and then sodomizing of a lot. Why, bro? And it happens so. Master, it not be this boarding house alone. It, it they happen. They just they beat, beat, kid this left press center. Then they un unnecessary punishment. Just say and because it is a high school tradition. You no don't need, bro. Some of these they don't have the mental fortitude to stand all these things. And now, Mister, bro, hustle, hustle, then take your picky go better school. So to say, ah, we no school no boy. Ah, kwale ah, ah, kwale ah. Oh, have a peace of mind to learn. Now don't call ya no mu di any bia. You see me more di oh, ya no mu di any bia. This is what will happen. Look at what they have done to someone's son. Look at what they are doing to the boys. And imagine the girls. That boy there, some people there with the time with the school and can't school no. Then they fix it and get ass man and things no. Yes, it be true. So say they don't go weed, they don't go do a lot of things, eh? Yeah, Charlie, then he come no more asthma. No, 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 I can't find fake inhale and make it time. Smart thing, then you go inhale them. Yes, because the struggle and the stress you go through, Charlie. Hey, respect yourself. The hassle you go go through, you people don't know. You people don't know. So by then, Charlie, I, I hope say uh, this is this is this is this is too much. I hope say them will report the issue to the appropriate authorities, make them deal with the, the, the school authorities. The, the woman said for commodity picking for that school because well, if if you make it go back again, then go kill him. Please just come out the picky. Make sure say the school is investigated for this atrocious atrocity of an eventfulness of uneventfulness nature of a chance. My name is Kujishari. Thanks for watching today's hour of the day. My poem.